What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video in Today's video, we are doing some Sugo Fest pulls on the Treasure Sugo Fest for the upcoming treasure map against Jack. Now, the main characters that we are trying to get our hands on are obviously going to be all of the treasure mode rare recruit point boosters. We are only going to be doing a, a maximum of two multis in this specific video. However, I do have like a uh, kind of like a condition. So, if in this 30 gem multi, the very first multi being 30 gems, if we get the Treasure mode point booster Sicilian. I will not do the second multi pull on part number one and I'll do a Secondary 30 gem multi on part number two because for me personally in terms of rated up characters uh, I have a much better chance of getting something new on part two So I feel like if I just do the 30 gem multi and if I do get Sicilian I'll hold off the rest of my gems for the part two Sugo fest where I'll do another 30 gem multi and I'll tag that on into this specific video But uh, if we don't get Sicilian in the first 30 gem multi then we'll go ahead and do the secondary multi but uh yeah definitely the main characters that we are trying to get our hands on are going to be these three characters here definitely inu Arashi, just because he's so insane and if you do get him he makes jack very very easy and he's just going to be an insane unit for all other future treasure maps if you guys don't know what these characters do in full detail go check out my latest video about that where i fully discuss you know whether you should be pulling on this sugo fest uh but anyways let's get into it First multi pull. Uh, it would be pretty cool if we could get a red because uh, you know on this specific account, this account is still missing quite a few legends. So uh, that would be pretty insane. But uh, it is going to be an all gold Sugo fest. So you know we're not going to see any silvers. But let's see if we can see something sneaky in here. Let's get going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, no reds. Can we see the treasure mode rare recruit units? Started with Lizabello, he's got a very, very good limit break. So if you do get him, make sure to actually like try and max him out with his limit break because his uh, cooldown reduction is extremely useful for what he actually does. <laughs> gum Gum Balloon Luffy. God damn, that is a throwback unit. Number three is going to be a Kinemon Rare Recruit. It took me a long time to actually eventually pull that character. Uh, number four is going to be Fukuro. So far, it's been absolutely horrendous, man. Absolutely horrendous. Okay, Quick Nami's actually not a terrible one. Pretty good for Limit Break. I'm still missing Pudding and Bobbin on this account, so if I could pull one of those two, I'd be pretty happy with that. Uh, and back to back Nami, okay. Uh, let's see Inu Adashi or Shiro Hoshi. Inu Adashi or Shiro Hoshi. Strength Sanji, not a very good one. Number eight, Dex Conjurer. I think, is that new for this account? It might be. Yeah, okay, that's actually new for this account, because uh, I was looking the other day for this specific character, and uh, that's really good. I'm happy that I actually pulled this. Not too bad. Uh, and then 20th Anniversary Robin, that is a very, very obscure unit. And number 10 is going to be Virgo, man. So far, man, th this multi, it was garbage. This multi was absolute trash. 11th. Oven. Okay, so that's a dupe oven, so I'm going to be using that for limit break, of course. Um, so overall, ugh, it was a pretty bad multi pull. That was a pretty bad multi pull. I was really hoping I could get Sicilian here so I could save myself 20 gems, uh, you know, for, um, you know, saving him for the part 2 Sugo Fest 30 gem multi. But uh, just because of this, you know, we're going to go ahead and try and get our hands on Sicilian. And then we're pretty much going to dip. There's no real reason to keep pulling after this. And we can start saving our gems for other big Sugo Fest that should be coming very, very soon. But uh, if we could get our hands on one of the other point boosters, whether it be Shirohoshi or whether it be, you know, Inu Adashi. Inu Adashi would be, obviously, the most insane unit to get, but the chance of getting Inu Adashi on part one is kind of like getting a legend, you know? The chances are not really that high. But let's see what we get on the second multi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No red posters, unfortunately. But can we walk away with something new? Zef, that's actually really good. That's going to be used for limit break, of course. Niji. Could actually keep that for the unevolved version of the Germa batch. That's actually not too bad. <sighs> Where are these treasure map rare recruit characters at? Strength Diamante. That's a that's a throwback unit right there. Number four, Koza. Dude, what is happening? Dude, these characters are, are pretty mediocre. Pretty mediocre. Oh, the Gamma. Oh my god. Doma, oh jeez, this is this is bad, man. This is this is really bad. <sighs> the rumor, which apparently is new, so I guess I'll take it. He's not actually that bad. Number eight, <laughs> that went quick. That's gonna be Kobe. Number nine is gonna be Jesus Burgess. And our last chance to get something new. 
Kapone. <laughs> Legend Kapone would have been sick. Obviously, uh, on the Japan version of the game recently came out. Absolutely phenomenal character. And the 10th unit is obviously guaranteed to be the evolved version of Sicilian. So I will definitely take that. Um, he's actually pretty nice. Full max sockets and everything. He does damage to one enemy that ignores defensive effects. He delays. And also, if they have a barrier, you get a type boost as well. So he's actually not terrible, but... Uh, Definitely would have been awesome to walk away with at least something else, but I mean at the very end of the day We actually did walk away with a couple of, of decent limit break stuff We got our hands on uh, Daruma, which was new for this account and also Kandra as well who are, is actually pretty good um, But all in all like it was pretty pretty average So hopefully you guys that, that did pull did get much better luck than me because my luck was absolutely horrendous For this specific Sugo Fest if you guys did enjoy this video Make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content I've post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video